world, my name is Patrice Carewell and I'm a licensed professional counselor with Beachbrook. And today I am doing a video on one of the common themes I've been hearing these last couple of weeks of being overwhelmed with schoolwork. So a common thing that I've been hearing from kiddos is that they're overwhelmed with schoolwork and not only for I'm hearing it from the kids, I'm hearing it from the parents, is that they're overwhelmed with helping the kids with the schoolwork and that the kids are overwhelmed with completing so much schoolwork. Um, in this video, I'm going to offer suggestions and tips on ways to handle this intense feeling. So stay tuned. Alright, so my first tip, my tip number one is to prepare, prepare the environment. So this means turn off the TV, turn off the cell phone, limit the distractions, create that study environment kind of as, as best if you can, as best as you can. I know that it's hard. It's hard when you have, especially if you have little ones screaming and getting on the other one's nerves, but try, try to limit distractions before they can focus. It's hard to focus when they have TV. It's hard to focus when um, they're looking at other things on their phone. And if you can't do it for the whole day, at least try for maybe start with 30 minutes and then up it to an hour the next day. But limit the distractions. Create that study environment as close as you can get it to school. Tip number two, now that we talked about preparing the environment, we have to prepare ourselves. So that means preparing the child and preparing yourself. So this could be an exercise or maybe a routine to um, just you guys can do together before engaging in schoolwork. So this lets our brain know, the child's brain know that it's time to get ready and get prepared for schoolwork. So this could be maybe a breathing exercise so we can do belly breathing. It's something you can Google on YouTube. I know Elmo has a perfect belly breathing song that I show to a lot of my kids that kind of shows belly breathing, ways to calm down and get engaged. So tip one, complete the easiest subjects, papers, activities, whatever first. Just do it be done whatever is easy get it done with get it over put it out the way get it out your mind for you won't have to think about it and then go to the harder stuff so do the easiest first just to get it out your mind for you don't have to worry about it and then move on to the hardest stuff so you can fly past the easiest and then move on to the harder things So we all get distracted. It's just human nature. So when we get distracted, we will need to take breaks just, just to get ourselves back and kind of manage ourselves and just to get back to normal. I do it. We all do it. So I found um, this pretty cool, some self-management tools on a social and emotional um, database that you can use with your child just to um, kind of, kind of um, help them understand when they are getting distracted, what feelings they're going through, and how they can control those feelings. So I'm going to scroll down. And then we have a T-chart. So we have distracted feelings. So distracting feelings and then ways to settle. So we can have distracting feelings such as I'm feeling excited. And the ways to settle that excitement is maybe I need to do 10 jumping jacks or I am feeling hyper and a ways to settle that hyperness is that I need to uh, maybe take five minutes just to do something random um, something that they can choose or you guys can work together and then I scroll down a little more and it's something you your child can work on this helps them identify their feelings and in ways they can help control those feelings so when I am feeling confused per se. I can maybe take a five minute break. I can help and I can help myself settle for learning. So this can help them identify those feelings that they are feeling, ways they can control those feelings to help prepare themselves 
to continue to learning. So this is a great break activity to help continue to feel, continue to learn so they can establish that, oh, I'm feeling overwhelmed right now, or I'm feeling confused, I'm feeling tired, I'm feeling hyperactive, I'm feeling just drained. Ways they can control it and then get back where they can tackle what they can tackle for that day.